first of all, I want to welcome everyone and thank you all for being with us here today. Uh, before we get going, hope everybody is doing well, staying safe and healthy and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we are really excited to be here today and to team up with our uh, longtime friends and partners over at Streakwave to uh, hold a what we're calling a flash webinar here today for you on our GRP series of carrier grade IP phones. Uh, so the focus or the point of today is is really to put together or to give you a pretty quick little presentation that uh, pretty much covers everything about our GRP series, what's so great about them, how the models differentiate themselves, all of that. Um, and then to allow you guys kind of a, a forum to ask any questions that you might have on anything we're going to talk about here today, or frankly, kind of anything's on the table. But so uh, presentation here, I'm, I'm aiming to get through this presentation in about 15 minutes or so, and then and really just open the floor for, for any questions and answers uh, for you guys. Um, before we get going, do want to also point out that one of the reasons why we are focusing on the GRP series he here today uh, with our friends from Streakwave is because these devices are fully available and well stocked within um, within Streakwave and, and within Grandstream as well. Um, you know, obviously, I think everybody's pretty much aware of you know a lot of the, the issues going on across the industry, pretty much across the entire tech industry across the world with with chips and whatnot. And we are happy to say that our GRP series is really not impacted by that, um, and that's one of the main reasons why we're we're here to talk about them today, is that they're great options for what you might already be doing, in addition to what you might start to do on the IP phone side. So, without further ado, let's get going. As I mentioned a moment ago, I did record this, and we will make the recording available uh, through Streakwave after the webinar. Uh, so. Our GRP series of carrier grade IP phones, that is the moniker that we use for carrier grade IP phones, these guys are, are our latest and greatest generation or family of IP phones. Uh, those of you that have been with Grandstream for a while, or, or maybe you're not, or maybe you're not, you're probably well aware of the fact that our Pretty much going back to the beginning of our company, our biggest product, and really what we were best known for is IP phones. So we have, I would say we have as much if not more expertise in the IP phone side than anyone in the world because we've been making them now for just about 20 years. So the GRP series is our latest and greatest. Um, it came out the first, there's kind of two series within the carrier, within the GRP uh, series, and I'll break those down for you as we go, but the, um, first part of the GRP series came out back in 2019. So they've actually been out now for just about two years. We released more of a basic model series, uh, which I'll show you in a moment um, later on towards the end of last year. So that might be new to you. Uh, but these GRP series models have been out for just about two years now. And the whole reason why we developed them the way that we did um, is really because they are, these devices are designed for mass deployment. That's what we created them for. Um, they provide a wide variety of next generation features, a great sleek design, a reimagined user interface, unified firmware, a whole bunch of other stuff that we're gonna talk about moving forward. But really the kind of, the, the driving factor be behind us developing and coming out with this is to provide devices a portfolio of IP phones that were really easy to mass deploy. Um, easy to deploy, featuring zero touch provision and management when you team, in, team them up with our Grandstream device management system, which we'll tell you a little bit about later on as well. Uh, so really the whole platform offers you really powerful but simple devices that are extremely easy to deploy with the zero touch provisioning and management. Um, so again, really making these, de these devices really ideally designed for mass deployment and for cloud and remote management. Um, and that's kind of what this touches on. Really, some of the major advantages and the things that we always we really start out with uh, when we're talking about these devices are, first of all, the zero touch provisioning and the centralized device management. And that is because these devices are fully integrated with our Grandstream device management system. I'll show you that in a second. That is a uh, AWS-based cloud provisioning and management platform for Grandstream devices. So with GDMS, you have the ability to literally zero touch provision all these devices. 
um, have them all uh, set up in GDMS before they go out uh, from the factory or whatnot. So then as soon as the user or yourself gets them in, gets them, all you got to do is plug them in. The devices will automatically retrieve their provisioning profiles from GDMS and you're ready to go. You can then also use GDMS to manage these devices remotely from the cloud in a centralized fashion. So a lot of businesses are going to have multiple locations. Nowadays, a lot of businesses are going to have remote workers as well. And GDMS in the GRP series is a great solution to really be able to manage and, and monitor all of those devices centrally with a really powerful cloud platform. Go into more of the details of GDMS in a moment. Another great thing about our GRP series, and I say device customization, but I'm going to almost kind of make that more broad and make it about the full portfolio of devices we have. I'll show you in, in just a couple of moments, but basically within this portfolio, there is the ideal device for any type of user and any type of need um, based on SIP accounts, based off of lines, based off of um, you know, the various features available, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that. We'll go through that. Um, but in addition to that, all of these devices also offer a wide range of different ways they can be customized. And one of the great ways and one of the, you know, things that we're often talking a lot with service providers and, and enterprises about is the customizable faceplates that these devices offer. Most of the models can be customized so that it wouldn't say Grandstream, for example, on that faceplate. It would say the company name or your company name or the ITSP or what have you. Um, and so, you know, in addition to that, lots of different ways that the devices can be uh, customized with speed dial and BLF contacts and whatnot. We'll touch on that more as we go. But these are really, I think, the, the three main, really the three ways that we like to lead in and really kind of promote the advantages of these devices are, are starting with the zero touch provisioning, the centralized device management, and the various uh, device customization um, and large portfolio that we offer within the GRP series. So to get a little bit more nerdy about it, uh, some of the really great, what we call next generation features that these devices offer, and I apologize for not having a slide that looks a little bit better to cover this. Um, but so we mentioned the replaceable LCD cover. The user interface within our GRP series has been redesigned for maximum efficiency. You will notice right off the bat that it will look and feel very different than what you might be used to on our GXP phones. Uh, we have unified firmware across the GRP series line. That is something that we were lacking previously with our GXP series, for example. You had the GXP 1600, 17 2100 series each had their own firmware sometimes even within the series there were different firmware for different models the entire GRP series shares unified firmware which also just makes them so much quicker and easier to deploy and manage they have dual firmware which just allows you to put two versions of the firmware on each phone so if anything happens and the device gets bricked or hacked into it can just automatically move over to the other one full support for the Opus codec that is pretty much the the uh, most high definition, low bandwidth codec out there. Um, talked about the Grandstream device management system. We have various devices within the GRP series that do support available Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Wi-Fi to connect it wirelessly back to your SIP platform or VoIP platform, Bluetooth to be able to use Bluetooth headsets, speaker phones, whatnot. Also a wide variety of different digital keys and second LCDs. And I'll go through this um, as we go through the models. And you can see from the picture there, which shows a GXP, excuse me, GRP 2614, you see the uh, second LCD screen that it offers down there that has, I believe, two or three pages, uh, which adds an extra screen, a dedicated screen just for digital BLF keys. A couple other models that have that as well. I'll real quickly go through and break down the individual models for you. But those are some of the great features about these devices. You'll also just, you can tell from the look and feel of them that they are really completely redesigned. Um, and you'll see, uh, we believe, a really great sleek design, gotten a lot of great feedback on it, uh, shiny face plates and whatnot. Uh, and you can expect this to look pretty much what our devices are going to look like moving forward into the future as well. 
I mentioned GDMS. Um, I probably went into most of the detail. Uh, again, GDMS is the is our um, cloud provisioning and management system. It's based on Amazon Web Services. I, what I didn't mention and what this slide does not talk about is GDMS is fully free. So with these you know, GRP series models that you're getting, you're also getting access to a fully free, fully functional enterprise grade management and uh, provisioning solution, um, which, you know, can be run from the cloud, as I mentioned earlier, allow you to do everything that you see here for uh, deployment across multiple different locations, remote workers, offices, or just to be able to manage an on-premise uh, solution remotely. So GDMS does everything from configuration and management of devices, accounts and firmware versions, real-time device monitoring, so you'll actually be able to get real-time diagnostic reports um, and status reports from these devices, as well as view them anytime within uh, GDMS. We have a variety of different smart alarms and alerts that you can set up, automatic troubleshooting and diagnostic tools. Um, GDMS can auto provide auto firmware, device resets, and usage logs on a schedule or based on however you need it. And one of the best things about it is it now also can directly integrate with our UCM 6300 ecosystem which we will have a future webinar on. I think we may have touched on it in a webinar in the past, but uh, that UCM 6300 ecosystem, that is the latest uh, generation of our UCM series of IP PBXs. Um, and right from GDMS, for example, you can activate and um, enable your uh, Grantstream IP phones with our UCM Remote Connect platform, for example, uh, which is our cloud-based automatic NAT traversal service. So not only does GDMS give you all of these zero-touch provisioning, great management, great monitoring, great troubleshooting tools, but it also now directly integrates with some of the other Grandstream platforms, your UCM, your UCM Remote Connect that you might be using. And just to touch on it real fast, here's a slide for you on UCM uh, 6300 ecosystem. Again, we'll how, uh, excuse me, we'll cover it in a future webinar. Um, but I think the main thing, the two main things that want to touch on here in relation to the GRP series is that UCM 6300 series that is our you know really popular um, and uh, long time you know one of the more uh, most popular IP PBXs on the market is what I was looking for there. Um, you know, great solution to be able to uh, manage, or to, excuse me, to build a communication solution. And now with this ecosystem, the 6300 has the ability to easily reach outside of a local on-premise network, which is something it could do in the past, but not as easily and, and truly as, as uh, zero touch as it can do now. Um, thanks to, uh, mainly thanks to UCM Remote Connect, um, which is our, again, I'm not going to go into full detail on it now, but if you're looking for a great way to deploy remote devices outside the local network, you want that real-time security protection uh, so that basically any connection to and from the 6300 series remotely, and in this case, I think we're talking about GRPs, but it'll work for any Grandstream device or our Wave app. UCM Remote Connect is a great platform, also runs on Amazon Web Services, and really, again, just for speaking on the GRP series, gives you a plug and play out of the box way that is already integrated with your management system to set up a secure connection for remote GRP devices, as well as any Grandstream endpoint or our Wave app. All right, so we're about 17 minutes in here. Uh, actually pretty much covered the, the bulk of everything so far. We're gonna wrap up here over the next couple of minutes by telling you about uh, target markets for IP phones. And then I'm real quickly gonna go through all of the models. And I say real quickly because you'll see that there's, you know, it's pretty easy to, to differentiate between the models. They're pretty much broken down into two series as well. Um, so one of the questions that we always get, um, or that is always comes up, especially in the year 2021, is who is deploying IP phones? Um, and, I, I, you know, obviously people have had their opinions about the future of IP phones for a while. And I think we've always kind of taken the, uh, 
the 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 viewpoint and i think this has become true that you know ip phones will continue to be valuable and to be a central part of a business communication solution uh, especially if they're able to you know kind of evolve and offer new features new functionality easier deployment and that is really what the grp series does all of those high-end uh, uh, next-gen features that we talked about wi-fi bluetooth the design of them the various customizations but also the you know really easy deployment centralized management, zero touch provisioning, all of that. Um, so some of the markets that are really big into IP phones right now, the biggest one, frankly, is service providers. We're hearing from service providers all around the world who are looking for IP phones to deploy to their customers with their services. Enterprises is always going to obviously be a major network. They need that dedicated voice network, especially with you know the, the office space and now with re employees working remote. I know a lot of enterprises who aren't yet really willing to rely on mobile phones and whatnot. They want their employees on their dedicated voice network so they're given um, even work from home employees IP phones. SMBs, I think we all know that is really our traditional main target market for our solutions um, and so obviously I think that that kind of really shows that IP phones are continuing to fly off the shelves for SMBs. Hotels, every pretty much every hotel in the world, I'll throw convention centers in this as well, has laws that require every room in the hotel to be able to make outbound calls. So they all need IP phones and especially now as the hospitality industry, fingers crossed, really begins to roar back especially in the U.S., that's a big market for the GRP series. Education, same thing with hotel rooms. Pretty much every classroom needs to have a phone in it. And now with um, schools needing to potentially moving forward, always be prepared to operate remotely because of snow days now or whatever, um, there's going to, I think, be more phones that are going to need, be needed for that. And obviously, if you've ever been to a, a doctor's office or a hospital, there is a phone in literally every room. The ability to instantly communicate with everyone in the facility is critical and, and will always continue to be. And, and, you know, those dedicated voice networks are some of the best ways to do that. All right. So let's wrap up here by quickly going through the different models for you. Um, as I mentioned, we pretty much break the GRP series up into two different series or two different families, I guess is what I should say. Uh, you see the essential series models. That's what we call them here. Um, these are really good options. Um, they're again, they're essential models, more basic models. These came out, uh, these might be newer to you actually. These were released in December of last year. There are four main models as you can see here, the 01, 02, 03, and 04. Each one of them is going to have a variety of kind of sub, uh, sub models uh, within it. So for example, you see the, Gen the GRP 2602, there is a t regular, uh, excuse me, there's a GRP2602P that gives you power over Ethernet, and then there's a GRP2602W, which gives you both power over Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Um, any of the models that you see with a P is going to give you power over Ethernet, and any of the models that have a W are going to give you Wi-Fi. If there is not a P involved, so there is no power over Ethernet. Um, I did a pretty bad job explaining that. So basically, 2601 has a regular model, doesn't have PoE. It also has a GO, GRP 2601 that does have PoE. Uh, so these are, all, again, more basic devices, uh, going to give you up to six SIP accounts here um, with the 2603 and 2604. Uh, you're going to get uh, looks like three or four line keys on every single model. These guys are not going to give you uh, color screens. The top three models will have backlit screens. Five-way audio conferencing, uh, RJ9 headset jack ports, all these guys are going to support EHS with any EHS headset. Um, the 03 and 04 are going to give you, um, excuse me, gigabit ports. Uh, whereas the 01 and the 02 will not. You get Wi-Fi on the GRP2602W. You'll see a lot more Wi-Fi when we move over here in a second to the GRP um, 
for what, what I'm calling the professional series, but the, the higher end models as part of this. As you can see, all of the models, every GRP series is fully compliant and integrated with the Grandstream Device Management System. Um, and from this portfolio, portfolio here, the essential series models, you get customizable or what this says as swappable faceplates on the top three models. And again, as I mentioned earlier, that allows you to basically have us create or build custom faceplates with your logo, with your customer's logo, with a service provider's logo, or not, or whatnot. Uh, those can be put on the devices in the factory before they ship out. You can also have, we also can ship them to you and, and you can pop them on yourself. Um, so lots of different options there in terms of customization. So this is the GRP 20, uh, excuse me, the GRP Essential Series. Uh, these are two to six SIP account phones giving you three or four different lines. Uh, smaller, a little bit smaller screens, uh, no color screens on these devices, no Bluetooth on any of these devices. You do have uh, Wi-Fi available on the 26 O2W, and because, as I mentioned, the different models, the regular models, the power over Ethernet models, just kind of give you the ability to pick and choose based off of, um, you know, what, what price you're looking for or what your budget is for these devices. So this is the 26, or the GRP26OX, I hate saying that. This is the GRP Essential Series. Uh, these are more basic devices for more simple um, or yeah, for more simple VoIP and uh, voice needs, I would say. And then to take a look at the other half of our GRP series, this is the GRP, I'm calling these professional models. We currently call them mid-range, but you're gonna see us re rename those uh, within the next couple of months. So this was the first, these are the first uh, GRP series models that we launched back in 20, 2019. Um, these, again, are, are the professional models. Uh, these are really ideal, I would say, for your average to, uh, really, yeah, for your average to your busy professional. Um, all of these devices are going to give you, uh, you're going to have at least four line keys, but as you can see, especially on uh, some of the higher models, there you're going to get more uh, wide variety, a lot of line keys, excuse me. Um, we have two models within the series, the 2614 and the 2616, which give you that dual LCD. I believe there's two or three different pages, um, and it looks like eight to 10 per page um, that you can switch between on that dual screen. I will mention that all of these models dual, do also have the digital um, keys, which uh, digital speed dial BLF keys which basically means that the, the line keys and the main page or the main screen has multiple different pages that you can load up with speed dial and BLF and kind of flip between those. So uh, kind of doubles or triples the, the, us the usual um, operational aspect of those home screens. You're going to get up to six SIP accounts with this series. That is the 2616. As you can kind of see, that last model or the last number on the model will tell you how many SIP accounts they support. Same RJ9 headset jacks. You're going to get Ethernet, or excuse me, uh, gigabit ports on the 2613 and up. Um, you'll also see, I guess it's specifically here on the 2612, there is a regular version which doesn't have power over Ethernet or Wi Fi, a 2612P, which does have power over Ethernet, and a 2612W, which does support Wi Fi. Um, and on the Wi Fi topic, the only model here that does not support Wi Fi is the 2613. Um, and we've seen, you know, specifically in kind of this new generation, a lot of businesses around the world are really switching over to. Um, Wi-Fi based communication systems, especially as employees are coming and going more often. You're going to get Bluetooth on the 2614, 2615, and 2616, allowing you to use Bluetooth headsets, speaker phones, speakers, whatnot, GDMS again, and swappable faceplates on all of these models that you see here. So these are more high-end devices, I would say, for your average to busy worker. Uh, giving you anywhere from two to six different SIP accounts, a wide variety of different options in terms of BLF and speed dial, some phones with dual LCDs, 
Wi-Fi available on a lot of these models, Bluetooth available on the 2614 and up, and again, also that customizable faceplate, which for these higher end devices, I think is, is even more powerful. We have a variety of different ITSP clients around the world who are uh, customizing these devices and taking advantage of those swappable faceplates, and it's really one of the biggest aspects for them. All right, so it looks like I definitely went longer than I had planned to, about, hmm, about eight minutes longer, so apologies for that. Um, but with that, let me, I'm just going to go through all the individual models, but pretty, I think it's a, a better idea to just kind of look at them here in terms of their overall series. So I will go all the way to the end here, and that was everything that I had planned for today's webinar. And now we want to get to, as I mentioned earlier, what, you know, I think one of the main reasons why we want to set this up to also provide you with a forum to ask and uh, for us to answer any questions you have on the GRP series or otherwise. So with that, feel free to shoot over any questions through the question and answer or the chat. I'm actually going to unshare my screen just so I can also see the chat. Um, and yeah. Um, I guess before we go through that, should probably, uh, and I should have mentioned this earlier, and you guys probably have seen Hugh and Chris responding to stuff. All right, Hugh and Chris responding to questions in the chat, but also want to uh, definitely um, introduce and recognize those guys. So I'll turn it over to Chris here to say a couple of words. Thanks, Phil. I uh, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, I'm Chris Dow, our North American Channel Sales Manager. I work very closely with the Streakwave team and their reseller base. I'm sure I've talked to some of you, and for those that I haven't, look forward to working with you in the future. Cool, yeah, and we'll, uh, if you guys haven't already, we'll put Chris's email in the chat, so definitely feel free to hit him up with anything we can help. Um, and also, I know Hugh has been answering um, some questions that kind of run in the chat, so I wanted to let Hugh say hi. And also, Hugh, any questions or any common questions or anything that we should read out loud or address? Hey, everyone. Uh, my name's Hugh. For those that, uh, that, that we haven't met yet, uh, you know, we run the uh, support team here at Grindstream. And, you know, do uh, do do streak wave and uh, working with Chris. You know, we're always here to help uh, with any technical issues that you have. Um, I can't see of any uh, any you know important questions to to address that we received through the chat. I think we answered everything there so far. Cool. Yeah. Looks like you did. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, keep those questions coming over if you do have any. Um, that we're we're here to you know answer those questions as long as it takes to get through it. So definitely feel free to utilize us for that. Um, yeah, I guess before we unofficially wrap up, we'll obviously hang around and and take questions uh, for as long as we need to, but. For anyone that doesn't have any questions, just to officially wrap it up, was there anything uh, from the rest of the team that I missed or that we wanted to talk about or mention here? Easy enough. Easy enough. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll hang around and answer questions for uh, another couple of minutes. We'll, we'll keep the, the mics on so we can you know also help answer the questions out loud for anything that uh, does come in, but for everyone else, um, if you don't have any additional questions, I guess that pretty much wraps up our webinar here today. Definitely want to thank everybody for taking some time out of your uh, busy schedules to, to learn a little bit more about Grandstream. Uh, definitely feel free to hit us up or let us know if we can help you with anything. Um, Chris Dow uh, is your contact for Grandstream, and obviously, I'm um, sure many of you already have contacts for Streakwave. Um, but yeah, just you know, just to touch on that, we've been working with Streakwave for, I think, over 10 years at this point. Some great relationships, some great friendships. Um, so we definitely really recommend uh, Streakwave for all of your Grandstream needs. Uh, super knowledgeable, 
Uh, great team over there. So um, hit up Grant, or excuse me, hit up VoIP. Wow, I can't talk right now. Hit up Streetwave for all of your Grand Stream needs. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out for some more news from us soon. We hope to see you again at another Grand Stream webinar, uh, another Grand Stream and Streetwave webinar very soon. And we hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy and our best wishes to you, your friends, family, and coworkers. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope to see you again soon. Take care.